Well, to discuss this and more, let's bring in National Senator Matt Canavan and National Affairs Editor of the Australian newspaper, Joe Kelly. Welcome to you both. Uh, Matt Canavan, this has been obviously a very big story the past two days. The Albanese government has been trying to turn it back on the coalition. Albanese outraged that Peter Dutton would dare ask about this in question time. But this is going to be a difficult relationship no doubt, for the Albanese government to manage should Trump return to the White House, as is predicted? Well, look, I, I want all of our ambassadors to succeed on behalf of our country. And I've, in fact, defended Kevin Rudd over the last 24 hours, in, at least in terms of the uh, examples we've seen prior to your show. Uh, look, yes, obviously, he's made some character assessments of Donald Trump, but I think mis people misinterpret Donald Trump and his reaction sometimes. Some of his closest confidants right now uh, uh, issued scathing character assessments of him in the years past. He does actually, can actually get over things if there's a mutual interest in doing so. So I think they were things that could have been repaired, for, uh, repaired from. But what you've revealed tonight is a different category at all, and uh, I'm not sure if Kevin can continue now, let alone until the election. I mean, he called there in your your editorial, the evidence you've uncovered, he called for the removal of a sitting president. I mean, it's almost like a coup. He called for a coup almost within the United States. And how can anybody that has such views be appointed as a diplomat to, to that nation calling for that kind of mm. radical change? I, I think he has to explain himself here. And I just don't think it's, it's right for the country. Now, the country has to come first. It's bigger than Kevin, bigger than any individual. And Clearly now he's damaged goods there while he remains as, uh, as ambassador to, to, to the US for our country. Mm, I agree those were extraordinary comments. He did say that he thinks Trump should be removed through constitutional means. I don't know how you remove oh, but... a president through constitutional <laughs> means. I don't know how that's possible. Joe Kelly, uh, what do you think about this and, and how? I mean, and clearly Kevin Rudd has been doing his best to brief out in the media all the work he's been doing uh, to try and get close to supporters of Trump. But we've now heard from Trump himself um, that Kevin Rudd might not last long. We also heard from Steve Bannon uh, on my show about a month ago uh, that they were well aware that Rudd was trying to worm his way back into Trump's inner circle, but that the president uh, has a long memory. Oh, hi, Sherry. Well, I think a couple of things need to happen now. Uh, the first is Rudd's on notice. Uh, Kevin has to be on his best behaviour, and uh, Kevin will always be uh, Kevin. So I think the temptation for him... Uh, will be to uh, keep himself uh, under check, uh, particularly in the lead up to uh, the, the next uh, presidential election in, in the US. Uh, any further um, uh, comments on diplomatic comments, even if it's just a gossip, uh, you know, uh, that circulated through the uh, DC rumor mill could be uh, extremely uh, damaging. So that's the first thing. He's, uh, he's on notice, needs to be on his best behavior. Um, but the second point is I think whether he's viable as a future um, uh, ambassador if, if um, Trump goes on to win a second term will largely depend upon the attitude that, that Trump takes. Um, so if the, the president decides to freeze out an ambassador, there's very little that could be done except to remove the ambassador. You would hope, uh, however, that uh, that will not be the case. Uh, we have had a good relations uh, with uh, the Trump administration in the past. Uh, Joe Hockey did a very uh, good job in that regard. Malcolm Turnbull and Scott Morrison both, I think, did, did well at a difficult time in the Australia-US relationship. So you'd hope uh, that uh, that smoothness uh, in relationships uh, can be uh, maintained. But mm. I think Kevin Rudd is on notice, Sherry.